Hey Nuggets, how's it going? Um, in my world? Uh, I don't have any makeup on. Well, I have mascara and I drew my eyebrows. That's for a few reasons. Like one, I have been feeling the best. I've been going to a lot of, you know, doctor's appointments for internal organ issues. Try not to die. I sound so dramatic, but, but it is. Um, it sucks. But, you know, life goes on. We're going to keep going on. And I know this is like a very unflattering, you know, angle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? It's not about the makeup today. It's about the brushes. And since I cleaned them all, I may as well show them off to you, you know, while they're clean. And if I put makeup on, they're dirty. And yeah, so, no makeup on. Oh, well, that's what I look like. Um, yeah, so... I don't have that kind of money to, to go buy the, the crazy makeup brushes and, and those. So I, I buy a lot from like Amazon and AliExpress. And I've had some really, really good gold mines. So I'm going to share those gold mines with you because, I mean, that's what No Holds Worth about, is it not? Um, one of the sets, uh, the purple Do Care set that I'm going to talk about last, I didn't do like a live opening of them. It's my first time doing anything live. I don't think it worked very well, but that's not the point. Um, I'm very happy with the two sets I'm going to show you here, so that's okay. Um, other than that, I mean, this is just with the brushes, and, um, yeah. I'm trying to hold things together as much as I can. Another reason for not wearing makeup is I'm determined to, um, to get my freckles back. Like, outside is a big scary thing for me, right? But, I'm determined to get my freckles back, which means I have to go outside. I have to go into the sun. And they're there a little bit, so, um... Kind of give myself a little more boost to go outside. Can I can kind of see them start showing up. Um, but this is all about the brushes. And since they're clean, I don't want to get them dirty. And uh, why not show you all what I look like with no makeup on. This is just my face. It looks like every day. So let's go look at those brushes. Well, I don't know how to introduce the part where all you see are my hands and my pudgy fingers. and. And my nails and my, there you go, my two medical bracelets. I need two of them. Um, yeah, the bottom one. So this one is actually from Amazon as well. Um, if you're wondering, I'll keep the link below to you. This one it was $18. It's pretty cute. Uh, it has the engraving came along with it. This one, let's talk about the fact that my kidney function is now 57%. And will not get any better, which sucks. This one here, um, I had it personally engraved. I got the bracelet at Winners has all the other information on it. Um, and as per the Michael Kors watch, so we can put an update on that. I mean, I had a horrible time getting it fixed. Um, but I'm really happy with it now. But I mentioned it for a reason. So I have this new and improved. You can add a complication to your social dials. I don't want to add a complication. I don't want complicated. <laughs> um, I think it's probably just been like translation error. So the first set of brushes I'm going to talk about uh, they are available on Amazon, but I did buy them through AliExpress originally. So I just went back, and thankfully you can go back that far into your you know, purchase history with AliExpress. And I can see that they're still available on AliExpress for about $14 for the whole set. So that's a great idea. Great price, I should say. It's a great price and an idea. Why not? They come in this cute little makeup holder. I mean, it's shiny. It's pink. And the day that I got these, so I've had these for about a year now. The day that they came in the mail, my sister happened to be in my house. She ordered herself a set, like, right then. Um, so let's take a look at them. So one, they come in this cute little set. And, you know, carrying case. And I've had them for, keep in mind, I had these for a year now. They have these beautiful glitter handles. And they are synthetic. And, I mean, so before we go through them all, I'm just going to take them all out of the case. So, this case is really cute that they came in. It's very handy if you're going to be, you know, traveling or whatnot. It holds them all in the perfect spot. Um, but when I just use them every day, I don't really need it. So, it was just, you know, the fact that they all come in one. This is the entire set. You get all of these brushes for $14. And in my case, it's Canadian because AliExpress will change them into Canadian. So, um, is there shipping? As far as I can tell, there is free shipping. Yes. Free shipping. It will take a couple months to get to your house. But for this quality, at $14, I will wait. Again, 
I don't have all that kind of money. So we'll start with my favorite one, which is this big fluffy one. Again, they all have these awesome clear, you know, glitter handles. So glitter, heck yes. And brushes that have the tapered bottom. I mean, they look cute, but they also make storing them way easier. Because if you're ever wondering where my brushes are, they are usually... So this is a letter holder from the Dollarama. They're in the back. They're, they're behind my palettes. And then I have my eye ones. And then we have all of my eye brushes in this glass from the Dollarama with some little rocks in the bottom. So having this tapered shape to them makes them a lot easier to just hold on to them. Alright, so I just talked about the fact that I love the handle, and this brand is called Enzo Ken, and it is written on the little metal part that it's Enzo Ken, so don't know if you can pick it up. I mean, I've had these for a year. Look what great shape they're in. Obviously, they wash very well, but what I love about this particular one is not only is it, you know, soft, it's very fluffy but dense enough. Can you see that shape to it? Can you see that, like, tapered shape? Easier for to put my hand behind it, actually. It's got like a... It's not quite round. This is flatter than the rest of it. And it makes it easier if this is like the only brush you have for, you know, a big powder brush. If you can do like bronzer or contour, it's going to really put it like right in the crease of your cheek. So I love this. But I mean, I've had it for a year. It is still just as in great condition as I've always had it. Nice and soft. They obviously wash very well. In this other set, you also get a nice, you know, blush brush. This one, again, very soft. I mean, and I don't know if you can tell, but look, even the bristles have mermaid or the same colors that are in the handle, actually. So that's really, really cute. So again, I do want to apologize if you don't like my nails. Um, yeah, I can tape my rings on now because um, otherwise they don't stay on. I lost too much weight. If you don't like my nails, I'm sorry. Um, I do them myself, and I get all this stuff for my nails off of AliExpress as well. So if you ever have any questions about that, let me know if you want to hear about it. But um, I, I still have children fingers. Um, if you do, I still have like the dimples. So this part of my finger is bigger than my knuckle. Hey, whatever. It, it's it's what God gave me. I'm gonna work with it, right? Um, so in this set again, there's there's always this standard like they call this a foundation brush. I've never seen anybody use this really, and I don't have a use for it. I have one in every single brush that I buy. I don't really know. I don't. I mean, I guess you can use it for concealer under the eye. I've tried it a couple times, but basically, this one's usually useless. For and then we have the eye brushes. So I actually really, really enjoy these. I just realized that this one has been cleaned, but I do enjoy them. So, so there's the standard spoolie. Okay. And I have an e.l.f. spoolie. So all the... One dollar, by the way. One dollar. So all my e.l.f. spoolies, because I have like them all over my house. I always use them for my eyebrows. And then I always use this one for my eyelashes. I tend not to want to mix them both up. Mostly because in my case, you know, I do have eye problems. That is what part of one of my autoimmune diseases. That it does, you know, dry my eyes out and I have a hard time with my eyes. So I don't want to mix things up. And the fact that they have drastically different colored handles obviously helps. And then it comes to, you know, the eye brushes. These two smaller ones here, I don't use them much. I mean, I know they're for, like, packing, like, the inner corner. I'll try every once in a while, but I kind of haven't mastered that yet, so put them aside. These ones, I mean, I love. This this fluffy one here, it, it's just the right size for, you know, getting that like depth of color in the crease when you really want to get like the crease color in there um you know that one's just the right size and again it's dense but very soft and, and fluffy and then there's the second one over here it's got a little bit of an angle a little bit of an angled brush i like this one for when i'm trying to put like eyeshadow um not necessarily in the inner corner but like on my eyelid without going on the outside the, the shape helps me personally. Then we have these last two. So this one here is like a packer brush, I guess what they call it. I don't I don't know. Don't quote me on the words. You can tell that it's really, you know, stiff and it stays stiff, which is great. So I usually use this one where now I'm trying to put like glitter. I have a lot of like glitters and shimmers where I want to pack it on 
I usually use this one because it, it really keeps them and sticks them exactly where I want them to go. And then this other angled one here, um, I usually use these ones for like contouring my eyebrows when I do like, a big a glam look. It's pretty much what I use them for. In conclusion, these Enzo Cannon brushes that are $14 from AliExpress are definitely worth the $14. They work amazing. They stay in place. I have not had a problem with any of them. They wash great. I've had these for a year. They look like they're new. So, yes, the link for these will be below, obviously. Let's get to the new ones, okay? Okay, let's talk these ones. So, I am pulling them up on Amazon, and they're currently unavailable. Don't worry about it. There are so many Do Care Makeup brushes. You can't go wrong. The quality is just there. Uh, there's so many other little sets out there, so just, just any Do Care brushes that will fit within your budget is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I've been looking at them online for a while, for, you know, they're in my cart, on my cart, in my cart. Um, they were $23 when I bought them. So this is the set that I bought, and again, that one's no longer available, but I paid $23 for 15 pieces and a little instruction booklet. Um, but if you look up on my computer, this is, you know, the closest thing that you can get on Amazon. It's still do care. It's the same brand. The quality is going to be the same. And it is $30 in free shipping, and you can get 17 pieces. So let's just go back to this one. So, like I said before, I did do a live opening on Instagram of these. I don't know how to do live things, and, and to be honest, I don't have that many public followers, which is fun, because I tell all of you that you don't have to publicly follow anything that I do. Um, now that I'm finding myself needing a job, I'd be kind of cool if I were to make money, but I'm still going to stick to myself, true to my guns, and just be like, you know what, if you want to follow me, go ahead. If you don't, don't. A lot of you just keep coming back. I mean... I do have the analytics for that, so I mean, whatever. We're, we're not going to worry about that too much, but um, let's, let's talk about these. So, I was going to do like a review as soon as I got them, but I decided that I was going to try them for a little bit first. And since then, I do know that there is another YouTuber out there, if I can f remember her name, because it was mentioned in one of uh, my makeup groups I'm in, that that person had reviewed this exact same set same color everything so if I can find that person's video and account I will link it below um, but I mean I don't have to watch that video to let you know that it was an amazing review because these are great again $23 for 15 pieces with free shipping we'll start with like the biggest one so this isn't like huge huge for a powder brush I know a lot of people like you know to have like bigger ones I do have like a bigger one out in my collection in the back, so, you know. But, I really love this one. And, okay, so here's the, the set name. You can see it. So there you go. So it's the Do Care Set SE. I don't know, SE maybe special edition, I don't know. But they are purple, purple's my favorite color. Again, they have that tapered bottom, so they're easier to fit um, with all my other brushes. But they're nice and soft. And I have been using them for a few weeks. I've washed them a few times. Again, they're very easy to wash, very easy to dry. They're so soft. They work so well. Um, this one isn't my favorite out of the entire group. These two are my favorite out of the entire set. This one is listed as a, a flat, you know, top foundation brush. I don't usually use liquid foundation with brushes. But I do use a lot of cream products, like I use like cream contour, cream blushes, and I love this to apply my cream blushes, and I love to use it if I want to blend everything together. It's it's great for that. It's nice and thick, like y you can see how thick that is, but it's still soft and it's still like movable. Like it's not gonna scratch your face. It moves around very easily, and like look how precise they are. If I don't put my hand behind it, it's actually better. Look how precise they were at making that, like, straight flat. That's awesome. This next one here is written in the instruction booklet as being a contour brush. And it is. It works so well for it. So, again, it is very densely packed. 
And for contour, I love this. Usually, if you look at the other one, this is the shape and the fluffiness. Okay, so I love this one for blush. But look at the difference in it. I mean, this one has way more bristles. It's way denser. It's not as floppy as this one. And, you know, size-wise, it's just bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. She might have said that. We don't know. We weren't there. Um, but I adore this brush. I use the heck out of it. It's my favorite one out of the entire group. And again, we have like the whatever brush that nobody uses for anything. You know, that flat foundation one. There are two other face brushes in there. And this one here is listed as a blush brush. This one here is listed as a highlighter and brush. Um, this one works great for highlighting. I have like four different highlighting brushes, including the e.l.f. highlighter. I have another one from another set. Yes. I love the preciseness of it. This one here, I usually use it to dust off the bake if I do, or any setting powder, excess setting powder that I happen to have on my face before I keep going any further. It's pretty much all I use it for, but when you have like a bazillion brushes after a while you don't need to use you have to get creative you want to use them all because they're pretty but you know I mean nobody said that you never had too many brushes but I mean sometimes when you just have a lot of them it just means that you're lazy at washing them and I've I have enough and I need to wash them you know when I need to wash them so in this set you have five face brushes and I love every single one of them they are amazing for $23, I would pay $23 just for these five. But I happen to get a whole bunch more. I also happen to get these eye makeup brushes. So, except for one. Um, this one here, it is a lip brush. And it does have a plastic little cover. It fell off just like while me doing this. So I'll put it back on. I'm not usually a fan of these. But this one actually is stiff enough. You see that? that I can pull it off and I would probably use it more for like eyeliner than anything else because it would actually work like if I get a good gel eyeliner this one probably work really well I'll be using it there and then of course there is a spoolie I haven't used this one yet for anything actually um so I don't know if I were to use this one I will probably stick to having my colored handle ones be for my eyes and my white handle ones from e.l.f. to be for my eyebrows again. I like to keep them separate. Gotta keep them separated. Uh, yes, I'm old enough to remember the offspring. Uh, and then there's just these, these wonderful eye brushes. So we do go back to having like an, an angled brush. It's nice and fluffy. I like it just as so much as the other one. Works great. What I like about these ones here is that they're different sizes from the other set that have the sparkly handles. They are, you know, the, the dense ones. Again, for, you know, putting that glitter that shimmers in the right spot. But they're not, like, overly tiny. So maybe one of these days I'll learn to make those cute little designs. I mean, hey, I don't know, maybe. But I do enjoy, I use these two the most. This... This particular one here, the smaller one, I usually use that one to just put like my little pop of highlighter on uh, my brow bone. It works great for that. It's just big enough, but like tiny enough that you can get really precise. So these are great. And then there were three. Um, this one here is a angled brush, you know. It's nice and stiff, but still a very super soft. It doesn't scratch your face. I don't really know where I would use... I know where I would use it. I just don't happen to, you know, have tried yet to use the eyeshadow or, you know, as an eyeliner. But this one would be perfect for it. Put a little bit of, like, Fix Plus on there and it's just thin enough. It just has the right kind of shape to be able to pull that off. And the last two I love so much. This one over here, if you can look at the shape, it's not quite a crease brush, but not quite, like, it's kind of like a two-in-one. It's kind of like thicker over there, as you can tell. But it does have this shape, so I really, really enjoy using this one. I mean, I do use it in the crease, but more to, like, blend things out. And then there's my favorite one here. Um, this one's got a longer 
fluffy one and it reminds me of one that I already have. It reminds me and works just the same as this SL Miss Glam one that I got in Ipsy back when I still had Ipsy because one of the things I'm waiting for is for the phone to ring for Canada Post to tell me where the heck my fake sugar bag is because nobody knows. Yeah, by the way, Canada Post customer service, I don't know is not a good answer, but whatever. Um, so this one, I love it how it's long and floppy. So when I really want to put some color deep into the crease, but I really want to blend it out, I had this one, you know, but now I have two that do the exact same thing. Um, I do believe that on its own, this SL Miss Glam is over $15. And this entire set that I have, including this one, <laughs> was 23. So, am I happy? Yes. And there you have it, Nuggets. Just my quick review of makeup sets that I have bought on Amazon or AliExpress that were definitely worth the money, that are definitely worth more money than I paid for, but don't tell those companies that because we like to pay them at low prices because we're on a budget, okay? We're on a budget. Um, again, the links for this one will be below. I will put the link to the equivalent one like this because this one is no longer available on Amazon. But I mean, it is $30 and you can get 17 pieces, free shipping, so that's not, you know. But yes, buying them off the internet is sometimes a gamble because I do have some that were total freaking flops. I should know better by now. I should know better by now and to be able to look at a picture and be able to tell, yes. So when it came to these two, when I was looking at the picture and the description and the close-up, I knew I was getting something good. And the few others that I have back there, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if they're going to be good, but I paid like $6 for like a set of like 11 so I wasn't going to complain if they weren't that good, and they're not. So, whatever. So, yes. Buying them online, on AliExpress, on Amazon. Even on Wish. I, there's some good brands on Wish as well. I do think you can find Doom Care on Wish. Find anything Focalore or... Wait a minute. Speaking of Wish, this one I got off Wish. I got this whole set off of Wish. Anything with this name, and I can't say it because it's like, uh, I don't know what other name. Anything this brand you can find off Wish, buy it. It might be like five or six bucks. It is worth it. I have had this particular brush. It's a wooden handle brush. I've had this brush since I started makeup, which was only like a year and a half ago or two. Maybe two years? Not even. Okay, I, I'm a newbie to all this, I know. But it's still holding strong. This is one of my big fluffy brushes. It cleans well. And I think I paid like $5 for a set of like six. Voila! I still have one that I have not decluttered from this brand. So, they're all like kabuki brushes kind of a thing. But this big flat fluffy brush, and then there's this one here. Yeah, just just look around, look at it, look at the reviews. You can definitely tell if they're paid. I mean, paid ones usually don't make sense, but I mean, more than that. But more than that, I mean, yes, buying things off the internet is sometimes a gamble. I'm here to tell you that these two are worth the money. And if anybody has any comments about my nails, well, whatever. I tried the best I could. I'm going blind, people, okay? I, I'm waiting to hear if I actually have the certification of being legally blind or not. On top of the fact that my kidneys don't work very well, on top of the fact of all sorts of things, so let's not complain too much. All the stuff that I do use for my nails, um, it is poly gel, all the colors, all my everything I have, including my lamp, everything, I've gotten off AliExpress. So if you're interested in knowing what I do have and what I use, because I, again, I'm on a budget. I, I can't afford fancy schmancy stuff. But it works great. So if you want to hear about that, let me know. Other than that, thank you very much. And um, have a great day.